drift into magic mode. Oh. Keep to the captain's code. Here we go. Let's take a trip. With Captain Ben and the magic ship. Climb aboard and let's explore. With Captain Ben and the magic ship. And the magic. Almost! Hiya, Pick! Hey, Cap! Ahoy, mateys! Ahoy, Captain! Today is gonna be fun. We are gonna talk about treasure. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna talk about the Captain's Code, and we're gonna talk about Now, where is that thing? Oh! Oh! Hey! That's where this is. I've been looking for this. No wonder we couldn't find it. Ooh, a boogie board. <laughs> oh, these are a lot of fun. We gotta get out and catch some waves, Captain. <sighs> Whoa, Pickles, do you remember? There's a oh, story yeah. for this, well, another time. Another time. <laughs> what else is in there, Cap? Uh, come on now. There's oh. the keyboard. Oh yeah. We're gonna do this a little bit later. Uh, what are you looking for, Cap? Aha, found it. A gold pan. A gold pan. Maybe the ship doesn't like the... Hey! <laughs> Better late than never. Let's clean up here real quick. Always good to clean up before moving on to the next thing. Watch this. Make it happen, Captain! <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Pickles? Cabin! Cabin! We'll be right back. So today we're gonna talk about gold, treasure, and the captain's code. Ah! Treasure! <laughs> Most treasure on a pirate ship is gold and silver and jewels. Pirates love treasure. It's all they want. They would fight for it steal it, and even kill to get it. Ah! Pirates! Pirates! But here's the crazy part. Even if they did get all the treasure and become super, super rich, they oftentimes ended up alone with no friends because they couldn't trust anybody. Yeah. It's kind of a sad story. Sad but true, Cap. Sad but true. But here's a quick straight up side note. Side note! Straight up! Let's talk money real quick. I'm not saying that money is evil. Money can be a good thing, a tool. And like most tools, you can use it for good or for bad, to help or to hurt. So find a grown up that you respect and have them tell you how to use money in a responsible way, in a good way. Use money in a good way. Well, pirates, they didn't really have a home. Most of them didn't even have a ship. They only had what they could carry. So this was called portable wealth. Rock, portable wealth. That's why they had jewelry and coins and necklaces and rings. These are things that they could trade so that they could eat and live. So what's with the gold pan, Captain? Great question, Pickles. Pirates weren't the only ones who were greedy for gold. Computer, tell us a little bit about the gold rush. Ah, oh, blast. Sorry about that, computer. Can you tell us a little bit about the gold rush? The California gold rush, Captain? <laughs> yeah, is there any other gold rush? There are a multitude of major gold rushes, including Australia, New Zealand, Brazil, 
Canada, South Africa, yeah, and yeah. Oh, the, the, those, those rushes, yeah. Uh, just the California one for now. Hi, Captain. About 200 years ago, in the 1800s, people traveled from all over America to California with hopes to find gold. It was the California Gold Rush. A gold pan used for gold panning. Bingo! A gold pan. See, they would use this and magically find gold. It wasn't magic, Captain. It was called prospecting. They would look for minerals in the creeks and lake beds. They would use the pan to inspect the minerals and hopefully find some gold. That is correct, Pickles. <laughs> wow, prospecting Pickles. <laughs> the California Gold Rush began in 1848 boomed in 1849, and unfortunately, by the time most people made their way to California by 1850, oh, yeah. most of the yep. surface gold was gone. Yeah. The majority of miners never another found Another day, gold. another day. Busy day, lots to do. So whether you were a pirate or a prospector, gold was hard to find, and hunting it was dangerous. You said it, Cap! And that's why I stopped hunting gold, when I realized I could carry with me a treasure more valuable, a treasure of good character. And that's why we made the Captain's Code. Just like pirates carry rings and necklaces and things, we can carry the Captain's Code with us, in our heart or in our mind. It's a treasure of good character. And the best part, it's portable. Good character even makes your heart lighter. It's so true, Pickles. Hey, where are we going today, Cap? We are going to the wild, wild west to find a gold mine. Do you guys want to go? Okay. First thing we need to do before we take a trip is take a big, deep breath. Are you ready, mates? Make it happen! Come on! Hold on, mates! Adventure awaits! Wiki Wiki Wild West, here we come! That was quite the walk. Maybe we should park <laughs> a little closer next time. Oh, yeah. I guess we could have. <laughs> hey, let's check our compass and see how close we are. A compass, Captain? Oh, yeah, a compass. These flies are crazy. A compass points north, and it helps us to find our way. So if that's north, that means we should be right over here. Right over here. Good. The same way that a, that a compass helps us find our way, like a map, or a iPhone navigation or... GPS! Yeah, <laughs> GPS. Um, that's the same way that I use the captain's code. Sometimes in life, if I'm not sure what to do or which way to go, I just think, is this helping others? Am I showing gratitude right now? And we can keep to the code. Keep to the code. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's find this gold mine. Let's find Come this on. gold mine. What are we looking for here, Cap? Well, we are looking for a tailing. It's a big pile of debris and leftover rocks that they pull out of the ground. And after they go through it, they leave this big pile outside of the mine. This is called slurry. That's what we're looking for is some big pile of dirt and rocks and stuff like that. Bless you, Captain. Thank you. It's dusty out here. Sure is, Cap. I'm gonna get a bird's eye view. Captain, Captain! Come look over here! What is it? A big mine! Whoa! Good find, Pickles. Hi, Cap! <laughs> they don't call me prospecting pickles for nothing. Yeah, it's a deep one. Check that out. Oh, yeah! Here, let's see if we can see how deep it goes. Mmm, 
the old toss a rock trick. We'll see how far it falls down the chute. Hey! Whoa. That's deep. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty deep. Let's go see what else we can find. All right. Come on. Oh, desert cactus, how beautiful you are. Hey, Pickles, oh. check this out. I think there's a mine entrance up there. Oh. Wow. All that rock came out of a, some sort of mine or something. Let's go see. Oh, look at this cool stuff. Old but not forgotten. From way back. Kind of forgotten though, huh? <laughs> Come on, let's go see what we find. Let's go. Whoa. I'm not going in there, Cap. Oh, we found a gold mine. <laughs> so what were the miners looking for? And how did they do it? Let's find out. Hold on. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Computer, how did the miners mine for gold? Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Computer, how did the miners mine for gold? Prospectors would look for traces of precious metals and sediment at the end of a stream or water source. Often miners would try to trace a vein or streak of quartz that may contain gold. The ore would be mined and crushed and the gold would be separated from that ore. Wow, there really was an art to it. It was dangerous work. Many miners died from insect-borne illness such as malaria. Suffered hearing loss, oh, increased yeah. risk of cancer oh, to the lungs, yeah, trachea, okay. bronchus. Oh, I'm glad I'm not a gold miner, huh? Yeah, <laughs> sounds dangerous, Cap. Uh, I'm not doing that. I say we just stay here. Yeah. No, that sounds good. Really? Nope. Hold on. Ah! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> and we're back. Hello. Let's go see what we find. I'll be out front. Okay. Phew. Okay, I'm gonna stay out here and look for some more of these cacti. Hey, mateys, be sure to always take a grown-up with you when you're exploring, so you can be safe. Oh, desert cactus, how beautiful you are. Always bring a flashlight when you're going into a gold mine or a headlamp of some sort. Good. All right, let's see what we find. You see right there, there's quartz and iron, crystals, all mixed together in a melting pot of minerals, and that's what they're trying to find where, here's quartz. They're trying to find precious metals so they would Dig all the stuff out, grind it up, look through it, and try to find gold, silver, copper, all the treasures. Explore a mine. No, thank you very much. I know what happens to birds in mines. I don't need no gold either. I just keep to the code. Hey, that rhymes. Let's follow this vein and see where it goes. That is a big vein of quartz. That's what these guys were looking for. These miners and prospectors, they lived a really tough, rough, hard life. I mean, there was dangerous gases in here. People were always trying to steal the gold. There was really bad food. And they had to be away from their families and unfortunately some of them died. They didn't even make it home. It was pretty tough, you know? I think Pickles is right. Let's get out of here. Pickles, I'm coming! To the captain's code, I keep to the captain's code. It's better than all the gold, I keep to the code. <laughs> hey, I like that song. Oh yeah, it's a fun one. Hey, that gives me an idea. You guys wanna hear the captain's code song? Aye, aye, Cap. 
Let's do it. Hold on. Boys and girls, ladies, young and old, introducing the sailor of the skies, the dreamer of dreams with a fashionable feathered friend by his side, all the way from the helm of this very ship, the captain! It's the captain's code, I'ma wrap this code, it's worth more than silver and all the gold. It's the captain's code, he's gonna wrap the code, and he's worth more than silver and all the gold. This ain't something gonna turn to dust It ain't covered in barnacles or rust I'm talking about the ultimate in portable wealth This is a recipe to be a best self C-O-D-E I found a code for me It's better than gold Let's keep to the code My anchor and my guide My compass by my side Be a light and help others Be kind and discover How much we can grow When we keep to the code when we keep to, keep to, keep to, keep to the captain's code. Tell the captain. Honor, do the right thing, even when no one is watching. Gratitude, for what you have. Don't steal, don't pout, and don't get mad. Respect, all that you see, even for those different than you and me. Help others, and take care of people and places everywhere. Courage, be brave, y'all. Even in the storm, we can stand tall. Humility. Take a backseat to forgive and apologize generously. Growth. Keep moving. Onward, upward, new and improving. Rest. rest. Take a breath. Now take a breath and rest. <sighs> C-O-D-E. I found a code for me. It's better than gold. Let's keep to the code. My anchor and my guide. My compass by my side. Be a light and help others. Be kind and discover how much we can grow. When we keep to the code, when we keep to, keep to, keep to, keep to the captain's code. We don't need no gold, we keep to the code. Say we don't need no gold, we keep to the code. I keep to the captain's code, I keep to the captain's code. It's better than all I know. C-O-D-E I found a code for me It's better than gold Let's keep to the code My anchor and my guide My compass by my side Be a light and help others Be kind and discover How much we can grow When we keep to the code We keep to Keep to Keep to Keep to the captain's code Yeah, that's the captain's code yeah, where your treasure is, there your heart be too. Ah, <laughs> that was fun, Cap! We're gonna talk more about the code in other videos. I know you guys can keep to the code. A kind heart and good character, those are very valuable treasures. And easy to carry with you. Well, that's the end of today's show. Thanks for coming aboard, mates. Godspeed and smooth sail until we meet again. And always remember, keep to the code. Ah, keep to the code. <laughs>about the captain's code and how being kind and having strong character is a great treasure. See you next time. Hey guys, one more thing. I wanted to show you this is an actual gold mine. They would pull it up out of the shaft here in an ore cart, then they would roll it across, move it into the stamping mill, where they would crush the rock. Blah, 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 blah. And then they would wash it clean, collect the gold, and then they would deposit all the leftover ore, a slurry over here. It's a fun word, slurry.
Oh, desert cactus, oh, desert cactus, how lovely are you?